Really excited for today. We're headed over to the Kenai Peninsula. We're going to fish the Alaska Sockeye Run. It's coming up the Kenai River to the Russian River. The confluence is open. When we went up there in 2019, it was the first time it opened when we were been up there on our vacation. This year, it's opening early for us again, so we're really excited to get over there. The Kenai River is one of the most beautiful rivers that you could ever fish. It's the outdoor enthusiast dream, and we're able to go and fish the confluence of the Russian and Kenai where they meet. It's a lot of fun, beautiful big fish this year. Hoping they're in there good. We're gonna go give it a shot. The Department of Fish and Game opens the sanctuary once they project that the biological escapement goal of 22,000 to 42,000 sockeye salmon will be met. This means that the big silver fish that are prized for their flavor and their fight are gonna be stacked fin to fin. When emergency orders come out and the sanctuary is open and it feels like Christmas as a kid, you know you're gonna have the opportunity to catch a limit or at least hook your fish once they open it early. All right guys, once you come through and pay at the parking lot, there's limited space. This is us coming into the parking area at the Russian River Ferry. You're going to drive through. Once you come in, you'll find your parking spot. They have RV parking. They have car parking. They also have some handicap parking. Once you park, you'll get everything ready and come up to the little cottage. Once you get up to the little cottage, you'll actually buy a ferry ticket. Hold on to that ticket because that's your ticket back across the river. The Russian River Ferry operates on a pulley system. It is nothing but a metal barge. It holds approximately 25 people that go back and forth across. If you're under 12, they give you a life jacket. Sketchy green thing well, coming up. Yeah. With them opening that up. The, the pulley system works with the current. They have a wheel in the back that angles a boat with a rope that's attached to a cable that goes all the way across. And it goes back and forth across. It opens at six in the morning and closes at 11 at night. The guys are super helpful. They are always courteous and very professional. A lot of the college kids come up here to work this for the summer. All right, everybody. Welcome to the Russian River Ferry. Please remain seated until this yellow rope drops on the other side of the river. We'll be running until 11 o'clock tonight, so around 1045, we'll give one blast of the air horn to let you know we're winding down. If you hear two blasts today, that's for bears in the immediate area and four for an emergency on the river, so just be aware of that. While you're over there fishing game, has to keep all personal belongings within three feet and all fish on a stringer within 12. And the sanctuary did open at midnight and the limit is still three. Thank you, sir. The sanctuary is open. Woohoo! That's so exciting. at midnight last night and we're getting ready to go. Even when the fishing's slow, you couldn't find a prettier place to be. The Kenai Russian River confluence, the pristine water, the people all around, the mountains, the sheep, the goats, the bald eagles, no place in the world you'd rather be than to have this view. You got to pay your dues when the fish aren't in. That way, when the fish come in and you get your limit, it makes it that much more rewarding. Hopefully, these fish are going to be in for us today. When you're over on the Kenai Russian confluence, it's going to be noted as combat fishing. It's going to be shoulder to shoulder, hooks going everywhere. It can get kind of intense. Make sure you have your eyewear on. Make sure you're watching your buddy to your left and your right. Combat fishing is best described as standing shoulder to shoulder, making a cast over your head, trying to be in unison with the guy to your left or to your right. The ultimate goal is to catch the prize of Alaskan salmon that fills the waters on the Kenai and Russian River.
He's in the mouth, isn't he? Wrong end, buddy. Oh, is he in the tail? <laughs> At least Brody got to fight with it. Keep backing up, buddy. At least you got to really man, Brody. You'll be standing shoulder to shoulder, maybe with your buddy, maybe with somebody from another country, maybe an Alaskan native. There's no telling who's next to you, to your left or to your right. Always be courteous, always be helpful, and always be respectful of the area. Don't go too far out there, Trey. Just get him. Walk him onto the bank. Good job. Yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. yeah, Hayden. Thank you, Just drop it. Good fish. There you go. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Ooh, he is beat up. Yeah, baby. Dude, yeah, let. What's wrong with him? He's just been—he's been like. He has been snagged 42 times. And Jimmy caught him in the mouth. You not want to keep him? Hayden? Yeah. Hayden's on the board. Oh, Brody just had one. Oh, he just kicked a rock on me. Did you just tell the fish to stop? Yeah. It's making me mad. Better get him before he gets back in there. Oh, your nets. Your... You're welcome. Brody, you are untangled on your rod if you want it back. Come on, Trey. Bring him on. Bring him on get him on the bank. Get him on the bank. Yeah, Brody. One of the neat things down here on the Kenai Peninsula, you'll see moose poop. Next to the Russian. And there's a moose rub. For everyone in the lower 48 that's used to hunting whitetails, moose rubs are gonna be over six foot tall. You won't be able to reach to the top of them. Bridge and just drag them through the water. Good 
job, boys. Other than the fishing on the Kenai and Russian River, one of our favorite things to do over here is stop in at Gwen's Lodge. It is an incredible place to eat. We typically eat either a breakfast or a lunch over there. They have a tackle store next door to give you everything you could possibly need. They'll give you tips. The staff in the restaurant is always hustling, get you in, get you out. Where great food, live? great atmosphere. Make sure you stop by Gwen's Famous Lodge if you're over on the Kenai Peninsula. Reds, 54 pounds with 15 fish. Pounds if you come over to the Russian River Kenai Confluence and take what we call the green sketchy thing, the ferry across, there's not a very big parking area. So make sure you get there super early, especially if the fish are in. The parking lot will fill up quick. That's so cool. Look at his velvet. We're headed down to the Kenai Peninsula. It doesn't matter if you're coming from Seward or coming from Anchorage. There is one road that leads to the Kenai Peninsula. It's a two lane, sometimes three lane if it's a passing area, but sometimes a no lane. Make sure if you're traveling this road, you add in enough time for road construction. They don't do any road construction in the winter time because it's covered with snow. So make sure you have your patience, leave in plenty of time, take your time and enjoy the scenery. an hour wait. Jim is not happy with Beth because Beth didn't want to come early. It'll be different tomorrow. 4 a.m. first call. Get it up, get it up, get it up, up, up. Did y'all hear that back there? Get it up, get it up, get it up, up, up. Thank yes, sir. You. Thought we were gonna be a little bit closer in line, but we're about 80, 85 people back. So it's gonna take us four or five trips before we get across. These guys that are you see coming up, they stayed overnight, so they have double the limit. So you can have twice the limit in possession. So they caught a limit prior to midnight and a limit after midnight. It looks like they had some proxy tags to go along with it. So they caught some other people's fish for them. Looks like it's about our time to get over there. Let's go get ours. Yeah, baby. Is he good, Jim? Just go down there close to Jimmy. Both of them on, three on. The Russian or Kenai River fish are so much harder to catch than what we consider our normal grocery store shopping in Alaska. That means our snagging.
these fish over on the Russian River and the Kenai River, you use a single hook and they must be hooked in the mouth. There is no snagging allowed. Any snag fish must be immediately released. He's not in the mouth. Oh, he is in the mouth. He is in the mouth. He's got an extra one. You got, he's got some bling. Or she does one, whichever one. Good job, buddy. You typically know immediately if you have a bad hooked fish, especially a tail hooked or what we refer to as in the motor. Your rod will be dancing crazy, bouncing up and down, and the fish usually takes off and starts ripping line off your rod. Best thing you can do is hold on, hope the hook pulls out, and try to get another one in the mouth. Down here on the Kenai and Russian River, the hook and rod setup is a little bit different. We use the same rods. They are spinning rods is what we use down here. You can use spinning rods, bait casting rods, or even fly rods. The rods that we use are typically six, six and a half foot spinning reel with 40 to 50 pound braid on it. We use a three quarter ounce weight. Depending on how much current is flowing, you can get away with a half ounce, but I prefer a three quarter ounce weight with about a two and a half to three foot liter of line between where the weight is and where your fly is. We use a Russian River fly. It's a single hook fly, no more than a three eighths inch gap between the shank of the hook and the point of the hook. Very particular about what kind of hook you can use down here on the Russian and Kenai River. He's got a good hook up there swimming. Get that guy in here. He's got extra jewelry too. <laughs> Trey, fish on behind you. Trey's got one too. Get him, baby. Get him, fish on. Just keep working, buddy. Keep walking, keep doing your thing. You know what to do. You know what to do, buddy. Keep walking, get him in here. Yeah, baby. I don't know what that net's about, but yeah. Good job. Good job, Trey. I told you I felt it. What's, don't let him go to the river, Brody. You got to get him before the ferry. Hold your rod steady. Get the net. It's right there. It's a good hook. Right here's your net. He's a good hook, Brody. Come on, Brody, get that fish in, buddy. Yay, Trey, good job. Woo! Keep backing, keep backing. Get him up here, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, baby. Good job, Trey. 
Huh? What you got going? Going for a bet. Keep reeling, Brody. Keep pulling, Brody. Yank him up there. Stay with him, Trey. Keep your rod up, Jimmy. <laughs> Is he snagged? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah, good job. Thank you. That's an assist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He was good, wasn't he, Dan? Yeah, he was good. Trey's got one. Good. It's good. The net's right behind you, babe. I gotcha. Brody, you can walk on the bank, babe. Good luck to you guys. You, are, you don't need luck. You've already slayed them. <laughs> Get another. <laughs> to finish another proxy. <laughs> I like it. be the one box we take home with us. It's F28. Yeah. That's 85. 85. Holy crap. What did I tell you? I said 83? I said 87. Oh, Brody, you were closest. 86. I would like to interview Mr. Trey Randolph here. He appears to be a little bit tired. Trey, can you tell us why you're so tired? We fished for two weeks without stopping. Without stopping. It sounds like you've not had hardly any sleep. Is that true? Yes. But your family begs to differ. Mm -mm. They say you had a lot of sleep. They're liars. What part of your body is tired? Everything. What would you like to do right now? Go to sleep. When do you want to get up? To go fish for kings tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell your mom you love her. I love you, Mom.
Thank you.